Hey, what's going on? Luke here, and yes, that is right. Don't turn off this video, the title is correct. There is a brand new rugby league game coming out in 2023, hopefully. Uh, it is confirmed. Now, the people making the game have been posting screenshots, they've been posting little trailers, little sneak peeks, and let me tell you, it looks very, very good. Now, I feel after like a rugby league live, four or five experience where it's super realistic. This is not it. It is definitely an arcade sort of game and you'll see when you take a look at the screenshots and take a look at the footage. Definitely is an arcade sort of one. Kind of reminds me of, I don't know, maybe like a Mario and Sonic at the Olympics, like the rugby version, that sort of stuff. Um, but it does also seem somewhat realistic as well, just in terms of the actual gameplay, the movement, all that sort of stuff. It actually does look quite quite lifelike in terms of how they interact. So it's not like just a you know a shitty little arcade one where a person just runs it up, passes to the next guy, you run through a gap. Like they're running plays, they're doing heaps of cool shit. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it does look a little bit more advanced than Rugby League Live 4. So I guess that came out in 2017. Now I just realized I haven't even mentioned what the game is called. It's called Rugby League Legends. Now that might seem familiar to some people. To me, I still remember seeing it on the App Store Back in the day, maybe like 2012, 2013-ish, um, seeing see it on the App Store and thinking, man, I need to get an iTunes card. Uh, but my iPod, um, my iPod Touch back in the day was so slow that I was like, nah, it's not even worth getting. Uh, but yeah, I remember there definitely was a game on the App Store. They actually like have the, the stuff still up on their little Facebook page. I'll chuck all the links down there below as well. So you can go check it out yourself. You can take a look at everything that they're doing, all the updates. They've got an Instagram and, and they have a Facebook as well. So I'll chuck all the links there. But Look, I've been rambling on a little bit. Like, obviously, I kind of just want to touch on the fact that this was a game out back in the day, and they sort of revamped it for 2023. And it does say 2023, so 100% is coming out in 2023. There's no speculation. Um, and also, they don't have to worry about licensing and, and you know, facial scanning and that sort of stuff. They can just do whatever they want. So they have the anaerobic by looks of things based on some of the screenshots. In fact, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these screenshots. So the first screenshot we're gonna take a look at is literally just the main menu, just the team selection part, um, just the interface of that. So you can see that they have positions. So this is clearly uh, gonna be like a competition mode, um, you would imagine. So there's Brisbane versus North Queensland. And if you had to take a look at it, it is gonna be for consoles and mobile devices, but by the looks of things, it looks very mobile device-like. So, um, look, I am keen to give it a go on consoles and on mobile devices. I mean, these days they kind of intertwine a little bit. They're sort of not exclusive to each other. So, uh, look, you got Brisbane, you got the Cowboys. You can definitely tell it's Brisbane and the Cowboys. Obviously, the player models aren't going to be there and they probably aren't going to have the, the right player names or even if they have player names, I'm not sure. But... They have overalls, they have positions on the ladder. I absolutely love that. Uh, and also you got the uh, the cauldron, which I'm assuming might be Suncorp. And uh, there are some stadiums that we'll take a look at very, very soon. But just touching on the little ladder, I'm assuming there's like a competition mode. You can see here, round two, it has all the same games that were played in round two. It even has the buy there as well. So they've uh, incorporated the 17 teams, which is quite cool. Redcliffe. Dolphins, just call yourself Redcliffe, okay? Now moving on to the next screenshot. Now we've already taken a look at a uh, team selection sort of screenshot, but this one is more so just a quick match by the looks of things. You can see the Roosters 88 rated. Um, you have Redcliffe 80. I think that's pretty fair, at least at the start of the season. But considering that Redcliffe or the Dolphins smashed the Roosters, it is quite funny in hindsight, but uh, this is posted before the game. Now those are all of the menus out of the way. Let's go and take a look at some of the stadiums. And this one looks very SCG-esque. I think it looks very, very nice. You can tell it's definitely a cartoony sort of aspect. But I actually think it looks very, very good. The actual graphics itself, to me, look really, really nice. Now, I'm not expecting it to be Rugby League Live 5. I'm not expecting it to look super realistic, be like FIFA, be like NBA, be like Rugby League Live 4, be like any of them. This is an arcade game. They know exactly what they are. And I really like the look of this one. It's one of the better ones. Here, you can see the next screenshot, which does look a little bit like a Suncorp. Might have been the Cauldron that we had seen earlier. Um, I'm hoping it's Suncorp. Maybe Ben Quest. One of those sort of ones. Amy Park. Um, looks like a whole bunch of those sort of ones. It looks really, really nice. Even down to the grass and that sort of stuff. It looks amazing. Now, the next one looks like a bit of a novelty one. Maybe like a, an Outback sort of stadium. Um, you can see there's lots of orange there. Lots of rocks. Maybe uh, Northern Territory or something like that. Um, but it is a cool look and stadium. Can't wait to play with that one. And then finally, we have one that kind of looks like Central Coast Stadium. Um, you can see the, the waters there. It looks very, very nice. Lots of palm trees. I'm guessing it's going to be the Gosford Stadium, Blue Tongue, whatever it used to be called. Um, it looks very, very nice. I'm so excited to see how these look in real life. Well, not in real life, you know, you know what I mean, in game. And finally, here's a screenshot that I just talked about earlier about them uh, sort of making it for mobile and for console. Here's proof that you can use it on a console because they're using a uh, using like a little remote, a PS4, I'm pretty sure. Um, so it does show that you can use it with PS4 controllers rather than just a mobile device like a, like an iPhone or something. So we are going to be able to play it on the TV. Now they've actually released two little snippets, two little videos on their Facebook page. First one I'm going to take a look at 
is one that they posted initially. It's just a little clip of them running a play. You get to see a little bit of the gameplay, running a bit of an axe, bit of a bit of an X, a very common uh, play in rugby league, and one that is very hard to do on rugby league live four. So the fact that they've been able to include this, I think, is absolutely incredible. The fact that like there's some sort of plays, I'm not sure if it's going to be out of core plays, but there are going to be plays run. I think that's amazing. So for a little arcade game. I think it's going to be great. Now, the next one is like, I would say maybe like a proper sort of trailer. Um, you can see the, the little scoreboard in the top left-hand corner. I think it looks amazing. But here is the kickoff. You can see what the kickoff is like. You can see what the gameplay is like. So it is kind of similar to rugby league um, games in the past where you're sort of behind the play. Hopefully, you can change your cameras a little bit as well. But just in terms of the actual gameplay, I think it looks absolutely amazing. It looks nice and crisp. Obviously, there's a few little arcadey sort of elements to it, but there's a bomb. Like, the bomb looked nice. The catch looked very nice. You can see here, it looks straight down the throat of his gob. Nice uh, drawn pass. Another nice drawn pass. Something that you can't do on other Rugby League Live games, which is absolutely so frustrating. You see them running a little play there, going in for a try. Um, even, like, the little flames in the corner. Look, this game looks amazing, I'm not going to lie. Uh, maybe I'm just, like, desperate for a Rugby League game because it's been a long time, but... I think this game looks really, really nice, and I'm excited to see how it goes. And I tell you what, hopefully it does come out soon. Whoever's releasing this, they can capitalize on the fact that there's no new game and we're all waiting for one. Obviously, there's a demand for one. We need a new Rugby League game, and maybe this is it. Anyways, I thought I'd do a little video talking about this new game because obviously all the talk about Rugby League Live 5 and the fact that there's a lack of talk now um, I just thought I'd give you something. We finally have a game. We finally have a game. It's not like a like a full official license sort of one, but we have a new Rugby League game to play, and I'm definitely going to be doing some videos on it um, going forward. And hopefully, you guys are excited to play it as much as I am. Um, I think it's kind of shows just how much of a demand there is for a new NRL game. But guys, we're going to wrap things up here. Hopefully, you did enjoy that one. Make sure you go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Make sure you do that because it really helps out the channel massively. In terms of growing the channel, all that sort of stuff. Every like, every subscription, it really helps. Even becoming a member of the channel, it really, really helps as well. Um, link is in the description below. But also become a... But also follow me on social media. It's on the screen right now. Hey, new graphics. I updated that one. Facebook's gone, so may as well get rid of the Facebook. We've added Twitter. Uh, we've added Snapchat. Go ahead, give me a follow. It's Mr. Luke on my say. You can see it on the screen right now. Go ahead, follow me. Do all that sort of stuff. And guys, I'm going to wrap things up here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See you.